hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be explaining to you guys how you can extend your starlink network using kiwi so in my last video i explained how you can extend this network using a wireless devices okay so in today's video we'll be looking at the cable method now there are two types of cable you can actually use to do this one is the ethernet cable and the second is the fiber cable all right so but the ethernet cable has a limitation now remember when your ethernet cable start extending above 100 meters the signal start dropping even though you can use something called the poe extender to keep extending your cable whether you're using a utp or an stp cable there is still a limitation using an ethernet cable for long distance so regarding this it is advisable if you want to extend your network to a far distance up to 1k and above kilometers you should go for fiber cable so fiber cable can go up to 80k plus meters without dropping signals so it is advisable whenever you want to extend your network using cable for far distance you should go for fiber cable now i'm going to show you what we need for this uh, illustration now first of all remember this diagram from the previous video we did using wireless to do the extension so like i explained in the last video starlink doesn't have starlink router doesn't have an ethernet port so we need to get this ethernet adapter to do our conversion so i said from your starlink to the ethernet adapter then from one port of the Ethernet adapter to your Starlink router. So from the Ethernet port of this uh, Starlink adapter to your LAN. Now LAN here means the local area network you are distributing in that particular environment. Okay, so you can either bring this down to a switch, like I explained in the last video, or to a router. Any of them. Okay, so if you understand this configuration first, we can now go back to the building. Remember, your Starlink will be mounted somewhere and the configuration will be done inside one of the offices here. So what are the materials or what are the devices we need for this connection? So these are the devices or the materials we need for this illustration or for this connection. Okay, first is the fiber cable. Okay, this is a fiber cable. So you can either buy a customized one or you can buy and do your crimping by yourself. Okay, so this is another fiber cable here. Now this fiber cable has the TX and the RX. So the receiving part and the transmitting part. Okay, now we also have what is called an SFP module. So this is an SFP p module so it is small form factor pluggable that is the full meaning of sfp okay so now this module has two types we we'll have the single mode and we also have the multi mode now the one i have here is the single mode if it is the multi mode you are going to see one uh, port here and another port here all right now the third thing we need here is a router so we can use a router or we can use a switch directly so we can either use a router or a switch directly so the last thing we need here is a media converter so this media converter what it does is that it converts the electric signal into fiber signals okay now sorry i'm using this slide to explain this i'm supposed to be using it here to do the explanation but having all these devices here is going to look so much complicated so but then this is exactly what i mean now this router and this media converter is going to be inside this building so from this your configuration here this line here this particular line here will be your router so from your starlink from your starlink adapter this ethernet cable is going to come in and plug into your router okay then from your router 
to your media converter. Now this is the connection. The SFP module is usually plugged at this port of the media converter. So the SFP module will be plugged at this port here on the media converter. Now from your Starlink, like I said, from the Ethernet adapter of the Starlink, a cable is going to come and enter the one port of your router. Then from any of these LAN ports, other cable will be connected to this Ethernet port in this media converter. I hope we are together. Now, from this particular port here, which our SFP module will be plugged in. Now, remember, this is a single mode SFP module. Now, we have the double mode, like I said before. That is a multi mode, like I said before. So, there's something called a full duplex and a half duplex in data transmission. Okay, I have a video on that on my YouTube channel. So, you can check that out and understand what full duplex and half duplex means. So if I have a multi-mode uh, SFP, my transmission will be running on full duplex, alright? So, but in this case, I only have a single mode SFP module, okay? So this particular cable, like I said, we have the RX, one of it is RX and one is TX. But then also, some of them have been labeled A and B. So if you plug in the side A here, remember to plug in the side A at the other end, okay? So don't make the mistake of plugging in A here and plugging in B from the other end. It will not work, alright? Now also remember that this media converter also have the outdoor. Now this is for indoor connections. Now this is the connection. Now remember we are done with this from your Starlink to the one port then from the LAN port to your Ethernet port here. Now this SFP module like I said will be plugged into this place. The side A or the side B of your fiber cable will now be plugged into the SFP module while it is here. Okay. So the other end of the cable will be plugged into another SFP module that will be plugged in in this media converter in the next building so the first media converter is here the second media converter is here so unlike the ethernet cable fiber cable can be buried on the floor so it has this capability of surviving when you buried it inside the ground okay so you can bury your fiber cable from the from this building from building A to building B okay so this is your fiber cable remember from here from this media converter in this office to other media converter in this office so this is that cable so from this particular end you are going to crimp another ethernet cable and plug it in from this particular ethernet port to a switch in the second building or a router so you can still get another router and plug it in to that particular uh, router so remember that switch is here So from the Ethernet port of the media converter to this switch here. So from this Ethernet port to this switch here. So from here now, from this particular switch, just like I explained in my former video, you can now extend this using maybe a wireless access point so that you can have coverage inside the building. So from here now, you can now input a wireless access point somewhere in the building so that every other place is can have internet okay so you can add as many wireless as you want from this building too which is here this is the router we have so you can have an access point to a particular place so you can have an access point okay to a particular place you want from this building all right okay let's pay little attention to this now if you want to connect to this particular building now 
to this last building. So the same procedure. But then, if you watch this particular switch here, we have an SFP port on it. Okay? So because I know I'm going to continue my linking, so I bought a switch that has an SFP port. So from this particular SFP port, we're going to have an SFP module plug into it. Okay? So that means this switch now is in this building. And we're plugging in and this switch has an SFP port. So we're plugging in an SFP module on it and bringing it down. So remember, we're plugging in one cable from it to that building, to the building C. So this is building C. So inside building C, we're going to have another media converter. Something like this. Okay. So this cable that comes from this SFP module here is going to connect to the media converter SFP port in building C. So to this kind of port in building C. All right. Then from the Ethernet cable of the media converter in building C, you can now bring it down to a switch or a router. And from the router, I can now convert it to access point or whatever. So from inside, I can now break down your LAN. So in this building, building C now, we have a LAN. In building A, we have another LAN. And in building B, we have another LAN. So also remember that everything we did here is what we did in this place. I just use this particular slide so that I can have these devices bolder enough for you to be able to view what is happening. Okay? But exactly what we did here is what we are going to do in this particular building. Alright? Okay, so I'll be ending this video here. If you have any other question or maybe there's something you really need to understand very well, on this video drop it on the comment section below i'm going to attend to it please give this video a thumbs up if you learned something from it and if you have not subscribed to my channel please try and do that more videos like this will be coming on this channel to help you in your field installations thank you guys and see you in my next video